Let's take a live look from Bellingham right now. We do still have a tiny bit of daylight out there. And what else do you notice in the sky? We have some cloud coverage rolling in. Yeah, by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to look much different out there. We have a very weak low that's brushing by us, and it's going to bring some slight rain chances for parts of western Washington. Some areas will stay completely dry. Other areas will get a little bit of rain. We're talking hundredths, not ch nothing major, but a nice change of pace compared to what we've been seeing. Here's a look at our observed daytime highs today. Keep in mind, yesterday SeaTac hit 91 degrees. So far, our uh, updated reading says 83 degrees for SeaTac, so cooling down almost 10 degrees, and we'll jump down a lot even more into tomorrow, uh, dropping down into the 70s for tomorrow. So it's going to be much cooler thanks to that low, even if it's not necessarily a big rainmaker. Live look outside from our Queen Anne camera, currently sitting at 66 degrees in Seattle right now. And here's a look at what we're expecting for tomorrow. So uh, we're going to be dropping down into the 70s for the most part. Some areas not even making it out of the 60s, especially over the Olympic Peninsula up to the north as well. Around South Sound, it's low to mid 70s and then even pushing to the east 70s and barely making it into the 80s for many areas. So into tonight, tomorrow morning, that's when that weak low brushes by one more time weak. <laughs> so a couple spotty showers are possible over the coast and then we're setting up a convergence zone so uh, north of Seattle could see some light rain chances in our early morning hours by late morning into lunchtime we're tapering off but still a few sprinkles out there here and there and then by the evening time it will be dry and then especially by Tuesday we're going to see sunny skies and we're going to be on top for another dry spell so if you're along the coast early morning hours you have the highest chance for some sprinkles but drying out by the afternoon same thing for Everett, that convergence zone early morning hours tapering off into our afternoon hours. Seattle likely won't see too much rain at all, but highest chances would be in those AM hours with a little bit of clearing by the evening. Seven day forecast showing that tomorrow is the coolest day of the week. We see a little bit of a warm up into Tuesday, but still staying right on track with average for this time of year. Wednesday brings back the 80s and that is where we will stay into the end of the week.